first of four big games. And you look at this, there are going to be some big star names missing, but number one through 25 on each roster, it's crucial for them. Still the best rivalry in baseball. And as you already said, Bob, the two best teams in baseball. Actually, in 83 of the last 91 days, the Yankees and the Red Sox have shared the two best records in baseball. It just shows you how long these two teams have been at the top. And if you're the Yankees, as this rivalry is renewed, you're looking at this four-game series as an opportunity. Yes, there's a lot of baseball left, but when you go head-to-head -head with the team that you're chasing, you have to take advantage of those opportunities. That's why I think this series is more important for the Yankees than it is for the Red Sox. And the Yankees feel comfortable having CeCe Sabathia on the mound since the start of 2017. He's 12-0 after Yankee losses. They had an ugly loss yesterday. They'd like to rebound in Boston. And Bob, I've got to slip in this Boston Globe headline. I love the headline in their sports section today. It's a clash reunion. <laughs> no doubt about it. We're going to talk more about that now as we get out to Fenway Park. Meredith Morakovich standing by with the club house report brought to you by your tri-state four dealers big news in terms of a handful of pitchers today and the Yankees finally answered the question Meredith what to do about Sonny Gray Bob, you really felt as though this was just a matter of time until it happened after yesterday's disastrous performance against the Orioles. Sonny Gray lasted just two and two-thirds innings, allowed seven runs in the process, and then to make matters worse for Sonny Gray, Lance Lynn came in and proved that he was a capable option dominating for four and a third. So the move was made today. Sonny Gray is heading to the pen, and Aaron Boone gave his insight on why now was the time. I think it's the best thing for everyone involved right now. Um, you know, obviously Lance Lynn has, you know, been starting all year, has been a very consistent starter. So, you know, him being in the fold obviously makes this possible. And hopefully this is something for Sonny that, um, you know, it can help jumpstart him a little bit. And my, you know, one of my messages to Sonny is it's a really important role on our team. So, you know, and, and obviously we're at a very important part of the season. So, um, you know, we really need to go him to go down there and, and, and get after it and hopefully um, provide us with quality length on those days when we need it. It's frustrating because obviously, you know, you know, we certainly expected more and better, and he did too. And, and as I said, the, the more frustrating is the fact that we thought you know, he had turned the corner and uh, until yesterday. And, and um, yeah, so it is what it is, and, and we just have to continue to make tough decisions. Uh, some of them become more obvious by the performance because it is a performance-oriented uh, situation. And, and so um, I guess uh, it's, it makes it that much more valuable that we uh, were able to acquire Lance Lynn, uh, and you know we'll continue to look at what we have at AAA uh, and lean on that when necessary. Sonny Gray just hasn't pitched to his potential this season. A 5.56 ERA in 103 plus innings. While he has shown at times flashes of dominance, he has just not been able to pitch with any type of consistency this year. Earlier today, I sat down with Sonny Gray, who reacted to the news of being sent to the pen. I could maybe see it coming a little bit, but at the end of the day, I told Booney, um, and, and he told me to stay positive. You could, you could be back in this rotation you know whenever you never know how things are going to play out but um it's a little disappointing but at the end of the day i know that in order to to, to be a starting pitcher you know on this team in, in the middle of a pennant race that that you've got to perform and i i need to i need to do a better job on the field uh, in order to to stay in to stay in the role that i ultimately want to be in um but at the end of the day I, i'm going to go down there and, and and try to learn a new a, a new role and and, and try to and try to succeed in it and and do whatever i can to to help help this team and and ultimately help help um help help us win how do you go about writing the ship in the bullpen a place that you have not spent a lot of time in at all uh, a lot of questions there's a lot of questions i've talked to uh, i've talked to d rob a lot i've talked to greeny a lot already uh just just trying to come up with a routine trying to come up with a uh, with with a mindset with a game plan and um you know, just 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 everything like that, but maybe simple simplify some things on the mound and you know you know see where it goes from here. This year is far from over for you. What would you like to accomplish this last two and a half months plus hopefully playoffs this yeah. season? Uh, for me, I just like to you know I would like to try to 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 stay in the moment, stay 
um, continue to try to compete, continue to, to every time I get out there to um, put my best foot forward and, and and ultimately do whatever I can to help these guys win, whether it's on the field, whether it's in the clubhouse, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever, whatever needs to be done. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, continue to try to, you know, t you know, continue to try to get it done and and move forward from here. Sonny Gray went on to say he does not believe that his time as a starting pitcher in this league has come to an end. He is looking at this as a bump in the road. He hopes that he comes back stronger because of it. But for now, as we know, he will be in the pen. Also noteworthy, Jay Happ has officially been placed on the disabled list with hand, foot, and mouth disease. Because of that, the Yankees called up Luis Sessa from AAA Scranton Wilkesbury. Boone did say that Happ was feeling a little bit better today, but the virus has not run its course. They do not not want him in the closet in the clubhouse until it does so. Tyler Wade also optioned to AAA and Luke Voigt has been recalled. He is in the lineup DHing this evening. I spoke to